Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well today. I uh, had to run up real quick over lunch to grab my suit from the tailors. Good news is, since I started my journey on trying to uh, reestablish balance and um, get rid of the stress and start riding again and better manage my diabetes, I've dropped 18 pounds. That's great news. I mean, go figure. It's been like 18 pounds in two months. That's, that's cool. That's crazy. So anyway, I wanted to do a quick video while I was running up here because I need advice from you guys. Uh, I am doing a stage one or planning to do a stage one on Sophie. And while I've got pretty much everything else figured out, I don't know what to do about an exhaust. I could use your help. So let me get this started and let's talk about that. So the challenge that I'm having is that I originally was planning on doing a stage one upgrade on Sophie probably around January, maybe early February, uh, when I wasn't gonna be riding because of the weather here. But, at, you know, at this point, I am approaching a thousand miles. So I'm gonna need to take her in for the, uh, the 1K service. And yes, I'm gonna have the dealer do that. Um, and I thought, you know, I might as well go ahead and, and do that stage one when I take her in for the service and then just ride it the rest of the year and I'll be all set and ready to go when the, the new season starts. Now, my problem is that I already know I'm gonna go with the Vance & Hines um, tuner and more than likely the Vance & Hines um, Beckett air filter. That's pretty easy. What I don't know is what exhaust to go with. I, had, at first, was pretty locked in on just doing slip-ons, but I really kind of want the added performance. So, you know, replacing the pipes might be the way to go. The quandary I'm in is that the 1200 is such a new model in the Harley lineup that there's not a lot of resources out there on YouTube or anything to kind of help guide me through making a, uh, a selection on the exhaust. So I'm hoping you guys can help out. You know, I don't like obnoxiously loud bikes. So I don't want anything that's like hugely loud. More importantly, this Percy doesn't like obnoxiously loud bikes. Um, so that's a problem. She, you know, one of the things she likes about my little sporty here is that she does not hear me coming down the street from two blocks away. And when I crank her up in the garage, the bike, not this person, she doesn't, um, she doesn't feel that shake throughout the house like we did when my son had his Dyna here. So I want something that's deep and throaty, that has a nice tone to it but not something that is kind of like, you know, hey, everybody, look at me. I got a big, loud motorcycle here. So if you've got some ideas that you think I should consider, I would greatly appreciate it if you would just comment down below in this video. You know, we're leaving for the UK um, tomorrow for our son's wedding. I'm gonna be gone for about a week. And it'll probably be another week before I hit you know, that 980 mile mark and make an appointment to go in for the 1K service. So I'm looking at making a decision within the next two weeks. So I really appreciate any help you guys can uh, give me any advice. I uh, would love if you've got any links to any samples of the stuff that you're talking about so I can go uh, listen to what this stuff sounds like. Hope everybody has a great time over the next week while I'm away. Peace.